and Tropical Low is now forming in S91 S, located 12 decimal 1 degrees south, 118 decimal 3 degrees east, maximum winds 20 knots, minimum central pressure 1003 millibars. Here's the first track chart for the developing Tropical Low. A watch zone is now current for the Mitchell Plateau to Walleye. Details of tropical low. Sustained winds here in the centre at 35 kilometres per hour with wind gusts to 85 kilometres an hour. Located within 110 kilometres of 14 decimal 5 degrees south, 122 decimal 2 degrees east. Estimated to be 275 kilometres west northwest of Kuri Bay. 385 kilometres north of Broome. The uh, tropical low, which will most likely become uh, Cyclone Blake, is currently tracking south southwest at 6 kilometres per hour. A tropical low is formed in the monsoon trough northwest of the Kimberley and is expected to move slowly south southwest parallel to the Kimberley case and strengthen reaching tropical cyclone intensely late Monday or Tuesday. At this time it could be just west of Broome. In the longer term it's expected to continue moving southwest towards the Pilbara coast. Here's a look at the NOAA floaters. Sea surface temperatures very healthy, 31 Celsius. Some models. The location in the Banta Sea of the weak tropical low is 7 decimal 7 degrees south, 130 decimal 5 degrees east, and it's expected to move slowly into the northern Arafura Sea during the next three days. For Sunday and Monday, percentages remain very low, then Tuesday it's low. Although the movement intensification of the tropical low remains uncertain, the risk of a tropical cyclone developing increases slightly from the middle of next week. And currently we're viewing various uh, models on FS 91S, the other Tropical Low 91S will become Tropical Cyclone Blake and the Banta Sea Road should be Claudia. However, Tropical Cyclone Formation Probability Guide and you can clearly see how the uh, picture has changed. Upper level divergence in the region is looking very healthy. And whilst uh, the Bureau is monitoring uh, two uh, systems for development, uh, we could see another three on the radar. However, a look at the wind shear. And this is for Australia's northern region, excluding the Western Australian region. This is the southwest. Pacific region. 24 hour shear tendency. One of my favourites is the 850 meter bar vorticity. A very strong system to the south in Tasmania. But I'm looking at the top end of Australia, Cape York Peninsula, and over towards Vanuatu. Here's the Bureau of Meteorology's total forecast of rain. This picture has continued to develop and now the rainfall scale is on the right hand side of the screen and I'm looking at the area from light green white through to purple. We will be providing updates on this uh, developing uh, scene and as one of the two managers for the AU channel, please uh, subscribe to the AU channel.
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for Tropical Weather Chat.